Since his emergence in 2007, the old line has been often repeated. Who is Soldier Boy? And what in the heck is that dance? That's the question many have been trying to answer for the better part of a decade now. To many, he's just some goofy one-hit wonder who created a viral dance. A viral dance that has only just recently been matched in obnoxiousness. Despite what they say, there is a lot more to DeAndre Cortez Way, the man better known as Soldier Boy. Though, today, he is more of a soldier man. He not only innovated the internet rap game, he basically created it. Before all the littles, the 6 9s or the Xs, before even SoundCloud, there was Soldier Boy. The first bedroom rapper to make it big. Of course, he was not really a bedroom rapper, and his fame was a lot less global, but he had the internet savvy to reach the fame. The first to go viral. But no one has really touched on the internet history behind Mr. Way's roller coaster of a life. Beyond the rise, the controversy, and the debatable fall, there is Soldier Boy, the online kid who made it big. First impressions are tricky, so Soldier Boy does not look like the type to be either an entrepreneur or someone who once posted flash animations to Newgrounds. Behind the crank, behind the Mike Tyson diss track, who is Soldier Boy? Wait. I'm a sting like a venereal disease. Beside being compared to a venereal disease, Soldier Boy has gone viral in more ways than one. If you are not a jaded 20-something tenured internet user, you probably need a quick refresher on who Soldier Boy is. But you should at least have some idea. This is Soldier Boy. In 2007, he released this. Soldier Boy, I'm in it. Oh. Why me crank it? Why me roll? Why me crank that Soldier Boy? That Superman? That oh. It would go on to be one of the internet's first viral music hits. If you were anywhere in 2007, Crank Dat was inescapable. Especially at schools, Soldier Boy sold more than 5 million ringtones off the song alone. Though, in 2007, this was still novel. Memes were not really a thing yet. Soldier Boy knew how to use this fame. Everyone knew his name and his dance. Oh yeah, the Soldier Dance. What's Thanks up? for being here. Hey. So, uh, what a phenomenon this song has become, huh? How did this all start and were you surprised? Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's just something I was doing at home. Just something know. you were doing at home? Yes, it's oh. spread worldwide right now, it's crazy. Y'all don't know how to do the Soulja Boy dance? I, I don't. I, I'm a, I'm, I've watched it a million times and I still can't get the, the hops <laughs> right. So let's just, can we play the song and we'll see how we do here? In 2007, everyone knew how to Superman. That's what it was colloquially called. That's why Soldier Boy has this massive splotch on him in the video. Soldier was one of the first to realize memes equal marketing. Something many corporations have failed horribly at reproducing since. For Soldier Boy, it was all or mostly organic, though. Everyone was doing it. What was unique here, though? Soldier Boy was one of the first to leverage social media. It may seem to be common sense now, but Soldier was the first to connect his web presence together. People could go from his MySpace to his YouTube to his SoundCloud er, SoundClick with ease. Even before YouTube, he had 19,000 daily downloads off SoundClick alone and was in the website's top 10 artists. Soldier Boy built an image and an audience by doing this. Also tricking people into listening to his songs by posting them on LimeWire and mistitling them. Kind of underhanded, but we all gotta start somewhere. Soldier Boy knew how to use the internet, and he also used it. His internet presence stretches back more than a decade. To truly see, one has to go back. Back to the beginnings. Like everyone, Soldier Boy was once just a kid on the internet. He had dreams like everyone else, and even made flash animations like everyone else. On new grounds, and yes, you can still view them. In fact, Soldier Boy is still semi-active on new grounds, but he was posting long before he became famous. I mean, who can forget Super Damien, Soldier Boy's smash hit flash animation? He also posted fan art and his own art on his page. Uh, interesting taste, Soldier. Unfortunately, the last post was in 2011, but it stretches all the way back to the early days of his account. But hey, shout out to Newgrounds. The interesting thing about Soulja Boy is that all of his accounts are his, not created or held by some corporate in-between, for good or bad. He was the one who established his web presence. Soldier was some kid promoting his stuff on the net. His YouTube account is his own, not some Vivo page. And it still has all his old videos. He opened his YouTube account on January 13th, 2006, 
or about 333 days after YouTube's launch on February 14th, 2005, with his first video being the appropriately titled Soldier Boy's First Ever YouTube Video. For comparison, Soldier Boy was on YouTube even before PewDiePie. He beat the Swede by a few years. In those years, he produced a lot of content, a lot of which is still up. And there are some gems. From Soldier Boy's first 240p videos, to him buying his first car, to weird live uploads, remember when YouTube did that? To daily tune clips, to Soldier covering E3, to, uh, whatever this is. Can I even... To even Soldier Boy's modern vlogs. Oh yes, Soldier Boy is still on the grind, and it is just just premium content. This guy's like the Nostradamus of rap. He predicted all this. He'd he open up the doors for Migos, for everybody on down to do what they're mm -hmm. doing now. Travis Scott, everybody is taking a lead from Soldier Boy. You, you can hate if you want, but those are facts. A plus Soldier. The truth is, Soldier is a gamer at heart. I mean, look. Pretty much all of Soldier's internet activity can be traced back to his gaming clan. Stacks on Deck Money Gang, or SOD Money Gang. Sound familiar? Yep, it's also the name of his corporation. Who wouldn't name their multimedia business after their Halo clan? It is still active too. You can join SODMG and even watch Soldier kick it on Twitch or play Fortnite with him. I mean, Drake plays Fortnite, why not Soldier Boy? The website is still active too, so hit up SODMG.com and if you want a game with the creator of Crank That and Kiss Me Through the Phone himself. But is Soldier Boy a casual? Just Fortnite and Halo, you ask? Where's his real gamer cred? Have you ever made a Halo machinima that got over a million views? Soldier Boy has. Perhaps only rivaled by Red vs. Blue, Soldier Boy Tell em Presents My Halo Part 1 is a hallmark of machinima. In reality, it is a short video of Soldier messing around with his friends on Halo. Still enjoyable. Hey, look, we gotta get this bitch, dog. Right. Back to the SOD Money Gang headquarters. You. Except. Soldier is a real auteur. Just see his braid review. And they got this game, right, for people who smoke or people who drink. Like, if you drink beer and you get drunk, or if you smoke weed and you get high, and you just, anything, like, if you, if you just be getting fucked up. <laughs> they got this game, right? Oh, no, this shit called braid. Oh, no, the fuck? <laughs> hey, what's this shit? It's about this little guy in a the, in the suit, and he walk around, and they ain't got no point to the game. You just walk around jumping on shit. It look like Mario in the future. And it's Mario in a business suit with his hair dyed orange and a tie on. This guy gets games, a review so stunning it defined video games journalism. Soldier Boy is the working man's reviewer. He really gets it. Too bad the glowing review apparently left Jonathan Blow with PTSD. Post-traumatic Soldier Boy disorder. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? How you did it? How you did it? Nah, you didn't catch that. On release day, you start seeing the reactions of people on the internet. And for me, it was a very addictive thing. Because here I've spent several years, you know, working on this thing in isolation for the most part. And then suddenly it gets out and a lot of people, like tens of thousands of people play it in the first few days. And you see that all over the internet. And for me, that was actually a very negative experience. Only, it's only game. Why do you have to be mad? Soldier Boy is an entrepreneur. I'm being serious. He's left a long trail of enterprises, failed and successful online. If Soldier Boy was the modern MC Hammer, why isn't he broke? He seems to be living the high life, eh, for now at least. Not to say all of Mr. Way's ideas or efforts have been grade A stuff. There have been plenty of failures, missteps, and forgotten ventures on the road to success. Such as the Soldier Boy app. Two of them in fact. Soldier even posted an instructional video on how to access them. Not that I can, I'm not even sure if they are still up. Though, apparently, Soldier Boy Kiss Me Through the Phone was just a tie-in with his song with Sammy. Yeah, that did happen. It just looks like a Flash dress-up game, and the Soldier Boy official app, it is, well, uh, I'm not even sure what this is. Or maybe SBT Virtual Chat is more up your alley? Log in to discuss with other Soldier fans. He also released a very helpful tutorial on how to use the service. These people probably won't believe it's me because uh, everybody know my official profile is Soldier Boy telling them I got all the customized stuff. World changing. That's all small beans compared to Soldier Boy's real magnum opus though. Soldier Boy the Animated Series. 
That's Principal Collinback. He's got a PhD in Hayden. <laughs> Soldier boy, turn that thing off. What did I tell you about blogging Sorry, man, for you know school? You this. Yes, this was real. Real enough for one five-minute episode. It chronicles the misadventures of the Soldier Gang through a mixture of animation and live action. As they go through school life, and Soldier struggles against... You can see out of those things. They ain't full seen. There's more to life than ringtones. <laughs> Obviously, you never got a royalty check. Do you know how I came to be the principal of this institution? Uh, affirmative action? In my day, we earned our, our, our swagger. <laughs> Y'all had swagger back in the 40s? That's it. Ah, yes. That is Alfonso Ribeiro as the principal. And things get wacky when Soldier accidentally creates Swag Aid. Why in the hell do I look like Run DMC? The series is. goofy. Actually, kind of chuckle worthy. Akin to a high budget 2008 internet video, which it pretty much is. But getting Carlton really seals the deal. The short is kind of an enigma. I cannot find much info on it, as the actual page and related material has long since been pulled down. You can still watch it on YouTube, but beside the 5 minute episode, anything else is lost. The only thing I can confirm is that it was created by Buddy System Studios who worked on Robot Chicken. Also, Soulja Boy just dies at the end. As is clear by now, Soulja Boy is a very odd and fascinating character. His life even more so. Speaking of almost being killed, Soulja Boy also has a near career-long feud with Chris Brown, one that almost literally came to blows in a boxing match, until Chris Brown called it immature and called it off. What a party killer. But one has to ask, did he know who he was fighting to begin with? Though it did result in some absolutely amazing moments like this. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, they say Soulja Boy from the hood. Guess all that training with Floyd Money Mayweather was worth it. Oh yeah, Soldier hired Mayweather to train him for the match. This resulted in Mike Tyson, who trained Chris Brown, dropping, I kid you not, a diss track on Soldier Boy. A diss track that has Mike Tyson rapping on it. Yes, Soldier Boy somehow made a former world champ into a rapper because of Twitter banter. Master of social media. Still, I feel as if I'm missing something. Something Soulja Boy did recently. Like he broke international copyright law or something like that. What? What is that? Oh yeah. I guess even Soldier Boy cannot beat an international juggernaut like Nintendo. Everyone has to lose at some point. Not that you should be selling marked up Chinese consoles that have ROMs you have no right to sell on them. Bit of bad judgment there. Not like they explode. Look, he just wanted to change the gaming world, okay guys? I'm gonna have a whole new console and this shit is gonna be accepted into the industry, bro. Yeah, at first it's gonna people gonna be like, man, what is he doing? He doing this, they're not gonna get it. Of course it's gonna be criticism. Yeah. But once they see the end game and they see the once my new console yeah. come out, yeah. and they see how it really could be compared to a PlayStation or an Xbox. Look, somebody also, just ordered, somebody console. just ordered a console <laughs> right now. Yeah. A second. I know. That's what I'm saying. Every time you get so that. So as soon as this video game console releases, bro, and they be able to compete with a PlayStation and an Xbox. Soldier Boy confirmed for ANCAP. Still, Soldier Boy said 2018 was his year. He had the biggest comeback, which, if looking at social media mentions, he probably did. He is in the news again. He's changing the game, making moves. He even dropped a new single. He's on the upswing. I mean, look at that cover. Does not look familiar at all. Not like some weird Johnny Testo C or a pre made background. Surely, Soldier Boy. It's not like God himself is trying to destroy Soldier Boy either, as if he was cursed or something. He just has to be unlucky. Not like the earth itself would rise up to crush Soldier Boy like some biblical punishment. Nobody could cause that to happen. Hmm. I guess that's just what it takes to be Swagalagan. Despite all his issues, Soldier Boy is still endearing to me at least. 
This has only scratched the surface of the enigma that is Soulja Boy after all, not even mentioning Soulja Boy's many rap beefs, who I'll just list off here. Charles Hamilton, Hobson, Chief Keith, Bow Wow, the US Armed Forces, Chris Brown, oh yeah, and Ice-T. But as far as your music goes, it's garbage. No matter how absurd everything about Soulja Boy is, he is relatable on some level. He has very much the same relationship to the internet everyone did, just the kid who hit it big. In another world, Soulja Boy could have been someone very different, internet star, machinima maker, or even an online animator. Just remember, 